hi and welcome to this lecture so in this lecture we are going to discuss how I can upload a program from my PLC to my laptop to, to the software WinProletter and how can I download the program uh, from my software to my PLC so uh, first of all let discuss about the communication uh, between PLC and my laptop as you can see here is my PLC and uh, I have supplied 220 volt from here uh, so the lighting is uh, you can see here the power light is on and the output is on here right <coughs> sorry uh, and I also have com uh, connected a communication cable here uh, let me okay so <coughs> it is we have rs232 cable and uh, we have to connect here right so it is connected and the other end is a usb cable we have here right and we have to connect it in my laptop when you will connect it it will sound like a uh, is not installed right uh, so uh, let's install the driver and further process how you can uh, install and how you can successfully communicate your PLC with your laptop. Now there is a driver error, a communication driver error and what you have to do is just go to um, the PLC's website here. The web address is tiaportal.weebly.com. You can get a lot of stuff from there. Uh, from the home page it's actually internet problem okay uh, when you will go all PLC theory PLC communication and PL2303 driver download when you will click on this page this page will appear this page will open in your desktop uh, go down and click uh, and download these three files these three files are very important uh, these are actually drivers of uh, communicating between communicating the RS232 cable and communication network so uh, first you have to download this as because I already have downloaded these two files which is very important uh, the first one and the third one uh, when you download first file it's actually exe file and uh, it's actually a driver installer and this one is a driver uh, install these two files so the driver the communication will become uh, strong and will become successful as I have done these all the things I will open Winpro ladder for making communication and let discuss let's make a simple program and download it to my PLC so as I have FBS 14 MA series so I will connect this I will uh, open this I will set this uh, to this model to my new project and let's make a simple project for just testing purpose it's my input and it will be my output Y0 right so <laughs> online click auto check it is not working oh so I actually have not connected my PLC port it's actually my mouse port 
okay so go to PLC click on ok online you have to click here auto check when you will click here it will show you in which port you have connected your PLC communication cable as I have connected in COP COM port 3 click OK and it will ask uh, should I have to connect now yes connect now now it is just receiving the data from my PLC and it will show me these status that it is not password protected there is no sub program it's actually simple so these all the things there is calendar installed click OK and this one is my program that I have in my PLC when you will go to stop PLC your PLC will stop and again go to the PLC and click on run so PLC will start running now for example I have to so here I have downloaded my PLC program uh, that I have made in in WinPro letter software uh, uh, which means when I when X0 will receive a signal uh, Y0 should be switched on so now here when I will put signal on X0 you can see the lights here if it is okay and X Y0 is also switched on when I will switch off the X0 signal the Y0 switched off so here is uh, we can simply download the PLC program from WinPlorator to our FedEx PLC now for example I have to upload my another program to my PLC so what we have to do first you have to click on stop PLC and stop your communication go to offline mode right so uh, let's make another program and I'm going to add another output which is Y3 for example now how to upload this program go to online and auto check ok connect now now this one is just asking me to reload this project to PLC again if I want to reload if I want to d upload this program to my PLC so I will click on yes and now this is just um, uploading my PLC program to my PLC so here is let, him, let me check let's start to check our program that I have uploaded here in this PLC uh, the program was when I will um, when X0 terminal of this PLC will receive a signal uh, our Y0 and Y2 will energize so uh, let's make a signal for X0 here you can see X0 terminal and our Y0 or Y2 is energized as you can see Y3 I'm sorry Y0 and Y3 is energized as, as you can see here we have when I will remove the wire remove the signal so it removes signal it de-energized from here as you can see here right so that is how you can uh, uh, simply upload and download your program to your PLC and you can make communication uh, between your PLC and your laptop.